everybody, welcome back to Vaughn's Voice. It's a Friday episode, and uh, we're just back. We're doing stuff, and we're gaming. Uh, I just thought I would start off this show with just to let you know that uh, Counter-Strike 2 got pushed back again, and um, it makes me so mad, and I'm so upset because I've just been waiting for this game for months at this point and i'm like excited because like i said in the last episode it's <coughs> it's something that like i put hours on hours and hours of time into and i like just i don't know i would really like a new game to play that is based around my favorite game probably so cs2 just needs to hurry the fuck up i'm tired of waiting and it's annoying um, other shit to talk about TSM, the org, Team Solar Mid uh, they're like a big they're more League of Legends than anything and like I feel like uh, that's what they're known for mostly or they have I don't know their Valorant team isn't that good either <coughs> so um yeah, I mean, it's just cool to see teams coming back to the uh, scene or, like, making teams before the new game comes out because it just makes the scene bigger and, like, helps the scene grow. Um, especially a higher-tier org like Team Solomid, even though, like, their owners and shit are weird. Like, Reggie is, I don't know. He's kind of a weirdo, and, but whatever. But yeah, it's exciting just to have like newer or well, same orgs, but like new teams coming back to like actually compete. It keeps just the scene alive a lot. All right, um, I watched this movie with my mom over the weekend. It's called Blood, and that shit was terrible. Uh, it's got I don't know the chick, but she's from like everything now. Like she's in every like scary movie, like every like shitty movie you could think of basically um but she was in it <coughs> and it's just about it's about this mom who gets a divorce she moves to this old house and then there's like a dog and then he gets bit by something in this tree that makes it like a vampire dog and then he bites his son or bites the son and then he turns into a vampire and then it's like the whole movie is just about uh like the mom not the mom trying to get blood for this kid to eat and then she's like an ex addict so then she like starts sucking her own blood and like it's like weird i don't know the movie is just not that good like it, it develops pretty badly like um my mom didn't even like it if that tells you something so like it just, it, uh, it, it didn't very, like, because you just know it's, like, the tree and the, there's something to do with this, like, tree in the middle of a lake that dried out, but then, like, you don't hear about it until, like, the end, and then you're like, well, why wouldn't you just destroy the tree because, duh, and then, like, she destroys it at the end after her kid's already dead, and <laughs> it's just weird I don't know she like kidnaps this old lady that has cancer and is like gonna die so she's like well she's gonna die so she's like stealing her blood and, and like keeping her alive in the basement it's a it's it's pretty bad um, I give it a solid probably like three three and a half it was not good it just like and then it just dragged a lot because then you're like well he needs blood just take the blood like you don't we don't need to see the old lady blah blah blah, blah. we don't need her to struggle because like we know she's struggling because she obviously kidnapped an old lady like what i don't know and then she like turns full blood like murder it's weird i don't know she's like i'll do anything for my son like yeah no you wouldn't like my mom the whole time is like 
I would never do this for you. I would never steal blood. I would never kidnap somebody. I'm like, all right, fair enough, mom. But it's just like weird. But the movie, I mean, it, movies are supposed to be fictional and whatever, but like it just wasn't that good, honestly. Uh, the child actors weren't that good, and like the woman actor's not bad, but then like uh, actress, sorry. Um, I just have like problems with like the plot line. Like there, there's this like ex husband that like, comes in, and he's like, "Oh, you're a druggie, blah 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 blah." blah. And, like, making her feel bad, blah, 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 And, like, that's why they're getting divorced. But they're getting a divorce because he's fucking the, like, ex's, like, housekeeper or something. So, like, you're, like, do you feel bad that, like, she was a druggie and, like, she was not there for the marriage? But then, like, this guy's just cheating on his wife, like, right in front of her. And I don't know. I just think it's weird. Like, she probably has a drug problem for, like, a good reason. And he's just cheating on his wife because his wife has the drug problem. And he could probably, like, talk to her about it. But I don't know. You know. And then, like, he's blaming her throughout the movie. Like, there's a part at the end of the movie where he, like, comes and takes the kids, which is CPS. And then they, like, go back to his house, blah, 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 blah. And then he, the kids, like, leave the place, his house, to, like, go burn the tree or whatever and he like goes back to her house and he's like where the fuck are the kids you took the kids he's she's like you literally just came and took the kids and then i don't understand how it's at the end of the movie they call it negligence on her part but he had the kids so how is it his fault that how's it her fault that it's negligence or whatever and he gets custody of the other kid but i don't know Hey, I'm hey man. I'm just here to watch the movies and talk about them, but it's just weird. Uh, it wasn't a good movie. Don't watch it. Uh, regretfully. Um, but yeah, I think that's been long enough. Uh, we've got a clip of the week. It's just me playing Violent with K Chang, and we like, I trolled. <laughs> I like try to do like a play with. I try to do a play with jet knives, and I just go, watch this! And I jump over a wall and just get buckied right in the side of the head. So it's not, you know, anything special. But, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you have a good rest of your, what is it, Friday? Yeah, September 1st. And, um, yeah, love you guys later. Dude. Watch this! Booge!